What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Sims 3 Not So Berry Challenge. Today, uh, Miss Marie, I forgot her name. Oh my god, I feel horrible. Um, Miss Marie and Ev are getting up, starting their day. Oh my god. Um, I feel like I say this in every video now, but I do have two dogs. One of them is still very much still a puppy, and they're playing. So if you hear that, I very much so apologize, and that was my cat that I just had to kick off my desk. You guys, my house is a literal zoo. Um, but anyways, Ev and Marie are up here starting their day. It is actually love day today, so since everybody has the day off, I actually think we are going to go to the festival together as a family. I think it'll be super, super cute, but of course, you know, baby comes first. So we're taking care of the baby, Calvin. I'm actually gonna get him up now, even though he's not fully rested. Um, I do want them to eat at the festival, so I am gonna feed baby Ev, just because, you know, she's a literal baby. Um, but I want everyone else, everyone else, there's two other people. I want, what is going on here? What the heck, do you guys see that? It's like glitching out and I'm looking through the wall through the bathtub. Oh my god, that's insane. Um, anyways, I want the adults to... Sorry, my puppy is freaking chewing on my chair. I want the adults to eat at the festival. Jeez Louise, I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. Okay, I'm going to have her go upstairs, change her clothes, and then we'll come down here and pick Ev back up. That should give her plenty of time to eat. We'll potty train her, and then hopefully by then, Calvin will be ready to go. You are very hungry, so why don't you come over here and eat? You need a bath, which that was a whole thing in the last part. You guys already know. Um, oh my god, what are you doing? Leave the poor mailman alone. Where's their toy box? Okay, each get a toy. Smokey's gonna eat, and Scout is just gonna play with your toy. Okay, perfect. Calvin, go ahead and come downstairs once you're done. Actually, I don't know, whatever. Go get your baby. <laughs> go get your baby, then we need to potty train her, and then we will need to um, head to the festival. Why don't you actually do some minor cleaning while we wait? The house, I mean, the house is fairly clean, but we might as well clean what we can. All right, come up here and potty train her, and then we'll have to pick her right back up. <clears throat> um, all right, let's see what else. Go and clog the toilet. All of this is looking good. Yeah, that's really the only other thing you can do. Oh, we can actually come down here. Um, we're not going to pay the bills because... Uh, I know I say this all the time, but it really does feel like if you pay the bills as soon as you have the option to pay the bills, uh, you're paying them twice as often. So, okay, she does have an imaginary friend, which is perfect. She'll have a little toy to play with at the park. Um, hell no. We are not. No. Oh my god. You know, I'm just going to see you guys at the park, okay? I'll see you when they get there. Alrighty, guys, so they are arriving at... Sorry, I heard a weird noise. They are arriving at the festival, and it's actually, like, horrible timing because Lydia invited us to a party. Um, so we're actually going to switch gears and go attend this party. Um, oh, are you fucking kidding me? Calvin didn't even come. <gasps> I didn't even realize. Oh, I'm so mad. Okay, he's going to meet us at Lydia's party, I guess. Uh, that very much so upsets me. I'm very upset by that. Um, you need to get to Lydia's party. Where even is it? Can you stop trying to eat? Where do they freaking live? I think it's over here. It is over here. Okay. Visit Lydia's party. Yeah, so we got all the way to the festival just for the party to start as soon as we got there. But it's fine. We're just going to switch gears. We're going to hang out at the party instead. It really does make sense because it's our best friend. And I really want her to become friends with her husband as well, which he's an elder, which is crazy. Um, and then they do have two children also. Um, yes, Gavin here and then Alexa. So I think it'd be cute if like Alexa 
and Ev could be like friends or something. Do not put her down. Stop trying to put her down. Just literally go inside. All right, you're going to put her down. What a jerk. Um, let's just go ahead and cheat her into her everyday outfit. And the first thing we're going to do is have, you know what? I'm going to cheat their hunger. I'm sorry. I know it's terrible of me, but they were supposed to eat at the festival. Okay, just don't judge me. Okay, don't judge me. Um, we're <laughs> going to come over here and we'll compliment her party. We will ask about her day. Um, we'll tell her an inside joke. We will compliment her home. Um, let's gossip with her. And why don't you actually... Can toddlers interact? They cannot. Why don't you come over here and play with this toy just to get you inside? Calvin, what the fudge? Get out of the goddamn house. Literally. Like, what are you doing? I had all these plans. <gasps> Oh, it's Calvin's ex-wife. Calvin's ex-wife. How awkward. What's going on, Lydia? Can you stop? Because why? Why are we doing that? Put the effing book down. Compliment her party. Oh my god. Ask about her day. Compliment her home. Tell a funny story. Get to know. And gossip. Are you on your way? Thank goodness. I was about to say, if he wasn't at least on his way by now, I was going to throw a freaking fit. Okay, so I love that it's a pool party and they don't even own a pool. Love when people do that. Um, he, oh, her hubby's not even here. Hmm. I was going to try and become friends with her hubby, but I guess not. Okay, he's finally freaking here, and I just realized... Kaya is not only... <laughs> Kaya's not only his ex-wife, but it's also the girl that he cheated with not too long ago. Um, so I would love to switch this to a romantic interest. Um, so I'm going to see. I'm going to call her over and I'm going to kiss her in the bedroom and see if we can like secretly make them romantically involved. Um, let's chat with her. We're definitely not going to ask her to be our surrogate because why would we do that? Um, they can't kiss, so I guess we'll hold her hand. Why can't they kiss? That's really weird that they can't kiss. I guess heat of the moment kiss? Okay, and she accepted it. Okay, there we go. Now they're considered romantic interest. Perfect. You need to run out here. <laughs> because I had plans for today, okay? I had plans. You need to get out here. Put your uh, swimwear back on. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and flirt, maybe, what are we doing? No. Can, hello? Why are we, hello? Thank you, I don't know why you did that. <clears throat> Alright, hopefully Kaya doesn't get mad. Kaya is literally married to someone else, so, like, she better not. Sims are starting to catch on that something is up between Calvin and Marie. They may want to tone it down a bit before someone gets hurt. Um, they have a literal child together. I don't know what you mean. Kaya, what do you mean? You knew. He literally left you for her. Oops, I should have been taking pictures this whole time, but... It's okay. Are you Kaya? Stop it. What's your last name? McCoy. Reset. Oh my god. Sim Kaya. 
McCoy. Bye. Like, leave us alone. I am glad I got that one picture, though, of her in the background, like, all upset. Okay, Eva's doing good. Let's gaze into her eyes and hold her hands. I love that they're in their swimwear during spring when it's cold out. Um, 28 degrees and they're outside in their bikini and shorts. I love that. Absolutely love that. All right, let's go ahead and compliment her or not. <gasps> what is happening? Frostbit. <gasps> oh, God. It's now officially too cold. If Marie doesn't warm up soon, she'll be positively frozen. Freeze solid. You're actually joking. <laughs> You're actually joking. Oh my god. Calvin's just like, okay, I'll go inside. Ah! <laughs> go thaw her out. Oh my god. That is the coldest Marie has ever been. You're joking. Yeah, go thaw her out. What are you thinking? Bitch, Lydia, I swear to God. Oh my God. All right, go inside, both of you. Go inside. She's fucking blue. I cannot. Anyways, <laughs> um, let's do that all over again. No, bitch, stop. You have more important things to do right now. She's fucking blue. I cannot. Hold her hands. I want to make sure she doesn't try to go to the bathroom again. Tell Lydia to joke with another sim. No. She's her own woman. We're not telling her to do nothing. She can do whatever she wants. Alright. And go ahead and kiss her. Okay. So we are going to propose marriage, which I know you're probably thinking like this is super unromantic, but honestly, it kind of sounds like them to do something very unromantic like this. Like, oh, we're at your best friend's party. Let me use this as the perfect opportunity to propose kind of situation, you know, like, um, I just feel like this is not a good angle. And also, I think it's pretty clear that Calvin is just kind of doing it because he feels like it's what he should be doing. Um, I don't think he really... Not Lydia getting in my shot. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, I kind of feel like I know this proposal was a little like out there and almost seemed kind of forced. But that really was the point. Getting married really isn't... Oh, that was super cute, though. That was super fucking cute. <gasps> okay, I love that. I freaking love Juan. Okay, come over here. Let's come talk to Juan. Ask about his day. Ask about his age. Um, come him at his home. Tell him how much you love Calvin. Oh, my God. You guys, you don't even understand. You don't even understand. Calvin is going to go home. I'm going to keep Marie here just for a little bit. Um, just because this is her best friend's house. So um, it does make sense for her to want to stay. And also, I really, I need at least three people that become good friends. Or to become good friends with, I guess. And I feel like Juan would be a really good um, person. We're already friends with him. So we just need to get one step closer. Um, and then same thing with Lewis eventually. So I think we're going to stay here until we become good friends with Juan. Um, and then we'll also probably eat some autumn salad just because it's here. So why not? You know what I mean? Are you serious, Juan? Put the fucking plate down. I'm trying to get to know you. Also, where's your child? Like, I've been here all day and your child is nowhere to be found. Like, nowhere. Oh, and she's finally not blue. I also love that she's going to be blue for her engagement photos. That's just absolutely beautiful. 
Beautiful. Okay, he's not quite home yet. Okay, he is home now. Let's go ahead and... Oh my god, this... Literally, we have to jump all the way across town. Okay, let's go ahead and potty train her. She should hopefully learn. If not this time, she should learn the next time. Um, so we're going to potty train her. And then when she's done with that, we will feed her in the high chair. And she's pretty much going to eat and then have to go straight to bed. So um, Calvin will get to be oh, excuse me, by himself for just a little bit. Yeah, go ahead and eat from bowl. I just really want them to become good friends because that's what she needs. I mean, preferably they'd be like besties, but as long as they become good friends, you know? Oh, he's a loner. He did not like that. He's like, I don't care about your boyfriend. Why would I care about that? Um, ask about his alma mater. Announce your engagement, even though he literally just watched it happen, but still announce your engagement. I think that'd be really cute. Um, like, me and Calvin just got engaged literally in your house. Let's gossip about Calvin. Okay, well, while he runs to the bathroom, let's repair their dishwasher. Just to help, like, work on our repair skill. And then, again, we're just going to keep going because I really want them to become good friends tonight. So, tell funny story, make silly face, show funny videos, all that stuff. You also should probably unclog the toilet since technically you are the one that clogged it. You know, just, just a thought. Um, you didn't fucking potty train her, you dipshit. I'm so over this sim. This stupid sim. It's okay, she ate though, so at least she ate. Alright, get over here. Yeah, you're listening to a crying baby because you didn't take care of her. Go pick her up. Yeah, I was about to turn that off for you if you didn't turn it off. She's got a pretty good set of stuff to do, so I'm not too worried about her. Oops, I went up a little too high. All right, you gonna pick her up, please? All right, potty train her, then put her in the crib, and then you will use the bathroom, and then head off to bed, because you do actually work tomorrow. Uh, you don't work tomorrow, just kidding. I'm still going to send him to bed, though, just because it'll probably, literally, by the time he's done with these very simple things, it'll probably be two in the morning, so. Okay, I just want them to become good friends. That's all I want. Is that too much to ask? It seems like it's a little too much to ask. Um, as far as bachelor and bachelorette parties, I definitely want Marie to have a bachelorette party. It just kind of depends on um, what happens these next... Well, not even these next couple days. I'm actually going to play Friday off camera. So once I end this part, I'll play the rest of the day off camera. And then Saturday is going to be Calvin's birthday. And I have some things happening on his birthday that, depending on how it goes, is kind of going to determine the remainder of this series and how everything goes there. Okay, they have to be so close to good friends. You guys have to be, like, right around the corner from being good friends. Oh my god, Lydia became an elder. She was not an elder two seconds ago. I mean, maybe not, not two seconds ago, but she was not an elder at the party. Okay, grab a plate, put away the leftovers, and then you go ahead and come home as well. I am... Is she in her crib? What the... I'm gonna lose my mind. Calvin is the worst father I've ever seen. Where is she? Literally the worst father I've ever seen. Change her dirty diaper and then put her in the crib because apparently you don't know how to take care of a child. Literally the worst father I've ever seen. I cannot with him. Um, I'm going to end this part here. I hope you guys all enjoyed. And in the next one, oh shit, she goes back to work tomorrow. Yikes. Um, in the next one, it will be Saturday and it will also be Calvin's birthday. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see your lovely, lovely faces in my next one. Bye guys.